Ah, so what do you think it feels like when you're grinding towards something and it just doesn't pay off? <laughs> now this question fits Tarkov perfectly. It simply sums it up for all of us non-tryhards. So where do I go from here? I have no gear, I have no money, I got nothing. But I have a chance, and a chance to score big, because I got a weekly quest from Therapist. All I gotta do is kill 50 scabs on Factory, add a little bit of fluff, 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 ow, ow, ow. Simple, right? Just gotta put a little bit of effort in, and I'm gonna get a quarter million rubles, some drugs, three wrenches, two ophthalmoscopes, and respect. It ain't much, but hey, I may be level 26 and on the verge of bankruptcy, but I'm also stubborn. So let's get it. Alright, so it begins. I mean, I kind of want to go here. I don't want to get into uh, too much trouble, you know? Like, I'd like to avoid the PvP. I'm down bad, brother. Okay. I think that's four. Ow! Yeah, that's a player. Ooh, good. <laughs> <laughs> See what I just did there? One laugh for each scav kill. That's four. Four kills in two raids. Yeah, I'm not very efficient, am I? So maybe some of you remember the day when I took Kaban out, stealing his machine gun and leaving it to collect dust in my stash. So brother, it is about time we break it out. Still not sure if I killed him now or whatever. Dude, like, where are all the scabs? Yeah, it's it, when I need him. What are you? Oh! All right, that was a headshot. That was a headshot. And he's alive. Of course he's alive. Why? why? I, I mean, why? Why wouldn't he be alive? If I died to that. All right, brother, I have a Paka. You got nothing. And I almost died. Don't you guys say anything about the Paka. As it was pretty quiet in the next five minutes, I just moved around, killed a couple of scavs, and then took my time looting them. As at that time, my stash was looking pretty empty. But then, a batch of player scavs spawned in. I mean, I should be okay. As long as I keep popping the painkillers. I shouldn't die of thirst now, man. Someone's coming, brother. Be a scav. I'll just grab this and go. Oh, come on. We knew what was going to happen. But to be fair, that was a PMC. God, I should have thought of this earlier. Woo. Woo. Somebody's inside, man, for sure. Collecting scav gear and just clicking heads was pretty fun, and it got me my confidence back. But I just couldn't help but wonder, what am I going to do if the boss shows up? Okay. Oh, that's a bear. Bro, I thought it was a player's cat first. That's a P90 wielding bear we just dropped. I heard something. I don't know what. Okay. I finally spotted Tegilla after many raids. Fortunately, he was already taken out. Fortunately for him, of course, because I set out to fold him like a dirty paper towel. Should I go for it? 
Ooh. That's a player. Dude, I'm getting good at these early raid fights. I used to be really good on factory and then I was shit. Now we're getting better. All I need is gear. All I need is security. You know. Oh. Dude, that's gonna come in handy, brother. Wish I could take the hammer and just go ham. <laughs> Get it? Okay. Nah, oh, man, now we're talking. Dude, helmet with the save? Alright, I can't lie. Instantly feel better. <laughs> Raw, that player's gal was dirty. Dude, yeah, I always shoot to Gila in the face first. That's the worst thing you can do. Should try to get like five or six more and then get out. I don't want to rush it. I don't want to make any mistakes. I mean, any more than I'm going to make. That's one. Alright. Pretty sure that was a player's cap. 97.4% sure. If I score like two or three more, we should be at like what? 30? 28? 27? I don't know. Heard nothing. Ooh, I need that for the quest. Come on! Took my goddamn arm off. Dude, I don't know why, but like, my anxiety levels are under control. It's because of the helmet, trust me. And the RPK. Feels good to use it, you know? Alright, that's one. Dude, we got like 15 so far. Big win. Yeah, literally push here. Take this guy down and get out. Oh, there's another one. I shouldn't push that. Should just leave. Save the gear, reset. Wow, okay. Okay. Dude, he hit me from there. Okay, I guess he had an angle. That's good. That's okay. Alright, good to go. Wait, who killed you? I kind of want that SVT, but... Brother, I overstayed my welcome by a lot now. You know, I felt good just roaming around the map and feeling, well, kind of invincible. And the helmet did save me once. But the best part is, I finally got the required magazines to complete ice cream cones. What's more, I finally completed Gunsmith Part 1. And all things considered, I was damn happy with the rewards. However, I was only halfway through the quest. Oh, come on. There we go. Things were finally getting better.
Yeah, I couldn't believe it either. Around 25 scavs to go, I went back with the pistol to become tagged and cursed and rushed by all the scavs, but instead, this happened. Dude, I keep hearing... Like, he's above me, but he's not. You know what? What's the matter? You scared? I'm gonna go for it. I don't care. I think he's actually cool. Like, there's no bullshit. I shot at him. He was like, this guy is dog shit. Let's save him. <laughs> hey, man, you hear me? Yeah, he doesn't care about a USP, brother. How's it going, brother? Gold, gold. Okay. <laughs> Sadly, not even two minutes in after finding a friend, he got murdered by someone, but I stayed to avenge him. That was very unfortunate for my friend. I'm not gonna go out, though. There you are. Oh, come on! Dude, is that a KS-23? I thought it was a VPO, but I think that's a KS-23. If it is, I uh, actually wonder why I'm still alive. Look at my body, though. Stomach's gone, as always. What's going on? Dude, heal! Oh! Okay. Alright, call it. Hey, you know what? Uh, in, in my defense, I don't know which guy killed him, so I just had to swing this. But anyway, the next raid started with a cool fight with a PMC. That is a player. All right, if he wants to fight, he's gonna flank around. If not, he's gonna go like, I don't know, gate three, get, just get out. Yeah, that's him. Okay, okay. I respect that. You know? Dude, I love the USB so much. <laughs> He's still crying. <laughs> so I got some basic stuff. I got a Vepper, I got an AK, I got a Ketter, and some armor. I casually proceeded to kill all the scavs that have rounded up to kill me because obviously I was tagged and cursed because I jumped in the raid with just a pistol. But it is an awesome tactic for this kind of a quest. I then killed some player scavs, looted some more, and in the meantime, a new batch of player scavs spawned in. They were jumping around and looting thinking they were safe. Of course they weren't. I ambushed him one by one, used my map knowledge to flank him, and then accidentally killed this guy. Yeah, a level 40 player with a KS-23. And then it was just smooth sailing from there. <laughs> of course it wasn't smooth sailing, I lied. But it sure was better than before. However, before I let you see something very cool, let's see what else happened. I took a PB and spawned by the tent, took a single scab out, and grabbed his shoddy, and then made my way to gate zero. I mean, something went down, there was a dead PMC. Hey, that's a PMC. Unlooted dead PMC. Wait, that's an unlooted dead PMC. But then it all became very clear. 
Mister! Oh. Oh, there goes gravity. Oh, back to reality. Oh, of course I went back there with some cool gear. Even slapped a suppressor on and stuffed my backpack with toolkits. I casually fixed the control boards. 20 seconds each. Record time. So naturally I moved down and out of the glass hallway. Dude, it's going down. Now it's quiet again. Ooh, okay. It's gonna come in handy. Been losing a lot of, like... Oh? I think I actually gained more than I lost today. I know, weird, right? Yeah, we got players. Dude, they were slow. Dude, what just happened? Who did I kill? Oh, oh! Alright, one's still alive. Cool, cool. I can't see anything. Well, I don't exactly know what happened there, but I know this much. I had five kills left to complete the quest. Five puny scavs were standing in my way of quarter million rubles, which definitely sounds a lot more than it actually is in Tarkov, because you can lose it literally in two clicks. But anyway, what you're about to see doesn't happen every day, especially to me, so check this out. That's one. Need another four. Uh, ow. Dude. Alright, this is... Okay, you guys can call me Blind Fury from now on. Well, that's a nice gun. Dude, the Vepra is okay now with their new recoil system. Last two, let's go. Noodle. Yeah, I'm gonna eat that. All right. Easy quest done, man. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. Ah, uh, that's the Gilla. Yeah. Wait. Wait. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Dude, can you not? Like, I just did that, and you're gonna. Brother, I too tapped him with a Glock, you know, so I don't even care. However, that was only four kills including Tagilla. Oh man, that would have been epic if Tagilla had been my last scav kill for the quest. But anywho, I loaded into another raid and killed one scav, got out, and it was finally time to complete the quest. There, see? I can do it. I'm not as bad as I thought. I'm pretty bad, but if I can do it, so can you. Finally, it was time to move on. And so while I was busy hunting scavs in factory, the snow melted, and it was all green again. Nothing too special. I swung a scav with an axe, What do you know, I even completed a quest while doing it. See, zero to hero, ain't that bad. Got a big backpack, got some guns, saw an airdrop. It was too far away, and I'm a little bitch. Looted a bunch of boxes and extracted. Wait, I'm actually making money? Hell yeah. 
Let's move on. Questing time, baby. So I equipped myself with this level 3 armor, inserted some better plates, cause that's cool, but worry not, your armpits are never safe. Now the good thing is I finally unlocked Prapor level 3, which means I'm able to buy the mighty RPD. And so I did. 100 rounds of pure firepower, the Zisha helmet, a cool little backpack, and an extra drum mag. Stacked up and ready to go, I travel to the streets of Tarkov. And my mission is simple, find a folder with some classified photos or whatever in the Tarkov finance building. Second main objective, focus and stay alive. The boss Caban was there, but believe it or not, I decided to pass this time. I don't know man, I feel like this is a good decision. Seems empty. Does this pawn open? No one's been here. There we go. Luckily I had the sewer extract, and an objective for a different quest was nearby, so I simply checked Goshan, deciding to go to the other ones next time. Hey, we did it! Yeah, you're probably thinking it's just one raid. I should be back utilizing my usual playstyle in no time. But enough is enough. For my next quest, I had to find an apartment of some ballet lover. In order to access that apartment, I first had to grab a key from a pub. It also might be good to note that this key spawns every raid. Dude, this is such a cool quest. I don't care what anyone says. This is such a cool mechanic. Get the key. Do the quest or, uh, that building is, uh, it's got a couple of gold spawns. I usually get a Bitcoin over there. You can also get a lion. Why is it so quiet, brother? It's uh, too quiet for my taste. What, what am I saying, man? <laughs> Everybody's geared out of their minds. They're all rocking suppressors and stuff. Jesus. That was the door closing. <laughs> Thought it was somebody else. Like I'm always being careful with the audio. <laughs> you never know, man. Yeah, it looks clear. Yeah, we're good. You know what they say. You should always be terrified of people who close doors behind them in video games. So we just gotta check this, and then the next quest is gonna be uh, to pick up some guitar pick or something. I'm not gonna lie, I was hoping for a Bitcoin. Oh, there we go. Now we're talking. That's profit, bro. Easy profit. That is an M4. Pinewood? Pinewood! No, I'll let him pass. That's another M4. Loud one, though. In my humble opinion, these are just scavs patrolling. I don't think players would go through bushes like that, unaware of the sound they produce. Yeah, I'm just gonna take things slow. Took me a while, but better safe than sorry, you know? Otherwise, I'm never gonna hit max traders. All right, let's move out. That's a gun. If I can wait for this guy to leave and then sneak past him, that'd be great.
Well, there's that. Guns out. Dude, if he hits me with that Vepper... Now, let me just sit here where I belong in the trash. Ow, man! Yo, this gun is so cool. Okay, not too bad. The only problem now is I might have... Ow! I might have players come in from, from the mark room. Well, I gotta check Sparia. And Goshan. These are easy though, you just gotta go in. I have already delivered the sausage. So I just have these two to check and we can be on our way. I like how the spawns are treating me nice. We got crash side now. There we go. Dude, this gun is amazing. I don't care what anyone else says. I want the backpack. I think he looted a dead player. Okay. <laughs> this one has armor. I have to repack the boobin. Is that a one three six? Nah. I need the stack of money. Right, I think we're good to go. Oh, dude, what's with the money, bro? I mean, I'm not complaining. That's what you want. Boobin. Things could go wrong quickly here. Didn't hear anyone. They definitely heard me if they're around. Bro, one thing I always do, ever since I got killed here, by that guy camping, is I always check this ambulance. You never know, man. Wow. Wow. Right? The next on the list was pretty simple. No time to waste, I quickly stashed all the profits and equipped a green flare, cause my next mission is to use that flare and extract in the Klimov Street. 
Having spawned by the sewers, I decided to loot the nearby buildings and keep an eye out for any PMCs around. I don't want to loot everything, but I want to give them just enough time to move out. Just to be safe. I mean, if somebody spawned here, it should be, you know, over at Lexos or something. I mean, that's how I usually move, but... But then again, I'm special! <laughs> so I gotta be safe either way. Alright, scratch that. Bro, they took their time. What the hell? We got one. And I should move. Oh, come on, dude. He's gonna kill me now. If he, like, flanks around and shoot. I know, I know, I should have moved. And you're probably not gonna believe me, but I wanted to move. It was just like, I totally underestimated them. And I tend to do that when I end up eliminating the first guy in the squad without giving him a proper chance to defend himself. But they've done exactly what I would. So that was an awesome shot. Little did I know, however, that I would find myself in a similar situation in less than five minutes. Ooh! Is that an RD? Or RPK? Bro, we got multiple. Two. No, three! Kinda wanna go for it? Now, the old me would have just pushed him straight away without thinking twice. And that's a totally viable thing to do, but not when you're trying to quest. Honestly, I shouldn't be giving you advice how to quest. Everybody's better at it than me. But in this case, I cut straight for the Pinewood Hotel, which is exactly where I need to go to finish my quest, and then I decided to loop around and take it slow. Dude, it's so hard to control myself. Ow! Seriously though, this is for the best. I gotta stash some money, and then we're gonna have, you know, spare. We can lose some gear even when we get stacked. But this is going better than I expected. I'm proud of myself, man, <laughs> for avoiding fights. My next stop was good old treacherous customs. My tasks, shaking up the teller and chemical part one. I needed to go to the dorms, unlock rooms 203 and 220, grab all the necessary items and extract. Well, sounds easy enough. I'm in a sandwich again. I don't wanna fire the RPD because, well, for obvious reasons, but I'll just push this side. Hello? They're inside. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Got them both. One of them was, uh, carrying the other one, for sure. I'm sorry, brother, but welcome to Tarkov. Dude, I am so happy with the RPD. I don't know what it is about those old guns. Historically old. But, like, the RPD, the SVT... They slap. Dude, it just goes to show how they used to make them. I know, 
You're gonna say the SVT was, you know, dog shit, and it probably was. But if you ask a Russian conscript back in, you know, 1940-something, he would have told you, Brat, SVT is good. Can you stop? All right, we'll fix the arm. We'll loot these guys. All right, that's good. I don't want to stay too long. Literally just grab a gun or nope. I'll grab this. Done, go. I always like to check this spot. Oh, nice. That's a good box, bro. I sometimes get a G28. Fully modded. You know, I'm kind of digging that I started playing this way. More careful. I don't know what that is. Rishala? No? One shot? Not Rishala. It's a head. Yes, it was. All right, this um, this little detour should provide me with enough time for uh, you know everyone to move out from this side. Although I could run into somebody running from Big Red. Scavs patrol here, so they can open doors. No big deal. Seems quiet. Somebody plowed through here. Hello? Scav. I could push it right away. I just want to make sure it's not Rishala. Because they can stack up, like, on top of each other. This once again goes to show that in this game, you just can't let your guard down. I made a rookie mistake and got outplayed by AI scabs. But for the next one, I grabbed an APB, ran for the dorms, grabbed all the stuff, and ran out. Quite paradoxical, isn't it? But it felt amazing to finally break the cycle. I was back on track and on the road to success. I turned in all the quest items and wanted to end the day with a quick factory run. The mission was Postman Pat. Go inside the little bunker and take the letter from the dense calf. Hey man, any kill is good kill. We got players still. <laughs> You'll get your gear back. I was just kidding.
Let's grab the letter and get it out. I sincerely hope you guys are enjoying the series so far, and trust me, it only gets better. I would kindly like to ask you to be patient, and I'm doing literally everything I can to produce the episodes as fast as possible, and I'll have you know, making three shorts a day and making these 40 plus minute episodes is not an easy task. <laughs> In the meantime, do check the playlist if you haven't seen some of the previous episodes. I guarantee you won't be sorry, and that is only if you have the patience for quality content. I'd also like to thank my patrons and all my YouTube members. Thank you all so much for deeming me worthy enough of your monetary support. It means a lot. So for my whole family, thank you so much. By the way, if you'd like a change of pace, if you're looking for another quality piece to watch while you're sipping on beer and munching on some popcorn, check this one out because I promise you're not gonna regret it. Until next time, thank you so much and stay creative.